Oops. The drain pipe joint at his place is broken. How can he replace it without having to drill into the wall? Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel. In today's video, we'll share with you how to replace a broken drain pipe joint without having to drill into the wall. Firstly, he removed the damaged part of the joint. Then, he took a beer bottle cap, flattened it with a hammer, and used a drill to make a hole in the middle. Did you ever play games with these beer bottle caps when you were younger? I once turned them into sharp circular blades and cut through the grass in the garden. Quite mischievous, isn't it? Next, I see he's got a long bolt, and he used a nut to secure the makeshift blade made from the beer bottle cap onto the end of the bolt. Now, he attaches it to the drill, and let's see how it works. Wow! Do you see that? It can easily cut through the water pipe. To remove the cut pipe section from the wall, he first used a hammer to loosen it. Next, he applied glue inside the pipe and lit a fire to make it catch fire. As soon as the flame went out, he used a pair of pliers to remove the pipe section. Oh, he's using a heat gun to heat a PVC pipe section now. Taking advantage of the previously damaged pipe section, he used it to reduce the size of the plastic pipe. Try it out in the old pipe, he will cut off the excess part outside the wall. Before attaching it to the inner part of the wall, he applied glue to connect the newly created pipe section with a new joint. The job isn't done yet. Let's see how he handles the water pipe section below. Cutting a piece of PVC pipe, he continues by heating one end of the pipe and repeating the previous steps to shrink its size. Now let's move on to putting everything back together. He starts with the pipe section that has his new joint attached. To connect the remaining pipe section, his heat gun once again plays a role. As soon as the pipe heats up and becomes more flexible, he immediately applies glue to his yet-to-be-connected pipe section. Now he can easily attach it. Do you find his method useful? Let us know your answer in the comments below. Next, we will share with you a trick for connecting PVC pipes in corners without using elbows, helping you save costs. First, he uses the string to measure the length of the wall and the comber. Next, he uses that string to mark on the plastic pipes. This step ensures that the plastic pipes he cuts will have dimensions that match the lines of the wall and the corner. After marking the dimensions, the next step is an extremely simple process, because all he needs to do is use a saw to cut the pipe sections. Use tape to secure a plastic bag at one end of the cut plastic pipe. At the other open end, he pours sand into it. Can you guess the purpose of this action?
As soon as he fills the pipe with sand, he continues by using a plastic bag to secure it tightly. Oh, he has an improvised oil lamp, and he uses it to heat up the plastic pipe section that was marked earlier. Right after heating it to a certain degree, he bends the pipe section. Now, have you figured out the purpose of putting sand inside the plastic pipe? Putting sand inside prevents the plastic pipe from warping, even when he applies force to bend it. Continue performing these steps at the marked positions. He heats and bends the plastic pipe sections into shapes that match the wall's contours at the locations where he wants to connect the pipes. After completing the heating and bending of the pipe sections, he can now remove the tape and pour out all the sand from inside the plastic pipes. This trick is actually quite simple, isn't it? Because it's so easy to follow. Why don't you give it a try and let me know the results in the comments section. Do you still remember his improvised oil lamp? Now he's using it again to heat both ends of the pipe section. After heating, he uses another plastic pipe section to insert into the heated one. This will help expand the dimensions of both ends of the pipe. Clean the pipe section with a clean cloth and now it's time to place it in the desired installation position. Apply glue on the inside, and he attaches both ends of the pipe section to the pre-installed pipes there. Isn't it fantastic? Without the need for elbows, he still manages to create a perfectly functioning waterway. Next, we will share with you some great tips for repairing large broken pipelines. Firstly, he uses a measuring tape to determine the length of the damaged section of the water pipe. Then, he uses the saw to cut a piece of PVC plastic pipe that matches the measured dimensions. Use scissors to cut out a small piece of plastic from that PVC pipe section. Next, he heats a small section of copper wire to create two holes in the PVC plastic piece. You're not mistaken, he's indeed cutting a small piece of a tire patch. This is a very familiar item, isn't it? If your home water pipe is facing a similar situation, don't hesitate to cut a piece of a tire patch. It will assist you in repairing that pipe. After using adhesive to attach the tire patch to the PVC plastic piece, he uses scissors to trim off any excess tire patch material. Do you still remember the copper wire he had earlier? Now he's using it once again. He threads the wire through both holes, and let's see what he'll craft with them next. The adhesive will help him secure the position of the copper wire. Right after applying adhesive across the entire surface of the tire patch, he brought it to the location of the broken water pipe. Decisively, he inserted the crafted object into the inside of the water pipe, utilizing the copper wire to hold and secure them in place.
He took another section of PVC plastic pipe and used a saw to cut a piece from it. Can you guess what he will do with this piece of pipe? Let me know your answer in the comments section. Using pliers, he removed the excess copper wire sticking out on the outside. Afterward, he will bend the damaged section of the pipe so that it becomes smoother. Clean the plastic pipe thoroughly and now he will apply adhesive to the entire area around the damaged spot to attach the PVC plastic piece he cut earlier. This action will help conceal the compromised section of the pipeline, ensuring both its durability and aesthetic appeal. And now, we will share with you a trick for replacing an in-wall water lock. Is your house currently experiencing a situation of a broken in-wall water lock like this? Let's learn together how to repair it. Firstly, after turning off the water valve, he uses a chisel to chip away the wall area around the damaged water lock. Right after exposing the water line, he takes out a piece of wire. Can you guess what he's going to use it for? Exactly, he uses it to cut the damaged water pipe. Isn't this trick really helpful? Even though it's quite simple and easy to do, in some cases, it can save us a lot of time. So, don't hesitate, take note of it, because you never know when you might need to use it. After finishing the cut, now he just needs to remove the damaged section of the water pipe. Using a saw, cut a diagonal line at both ends of the recently cut pipe section. Do you know why he applies glue to the pipe's end? Because when he uses fire to burn it, the glue will ignite. This will soften the plastic part of the pipe, and at this point, he only needs to gently twist with pliers to remove the unnecessary plastic pipe section easily. After completing the removal of the excess plastic at one end of the pipe, you will do the same thing with the remaining end of the pipe. Do you see? The plastic part on the outside. He removed it very easily, didn't he? And of course, don't forget to use sandpaper to smooth out both ends of the plastic tube. Now, place the water lock and the sections of the pipe in to test the size. Oh, they fit perfectly. It's time for him to apply glue to secure them together. Of all the steps in today's technique, this is probably the simplest, right? Just apply glue to attach the PVC pipe section to the water lock. Then apply glue again to attach the PVC pipe section to the connector. Very straightforward, isn't it? But it doesn't stop there. In order to connect them to the two ends of the pipe more easily, he uses a soldering iron. When attaching them to the pipeline, he can adjust the position of the pipe sections as he desires. Turn on the water lock and take a look at this. His water faucet is working well again. Next, he takes some mortar to patch up the section of the wall that we chiseled earlier, and that completes his task.
Isn't it wonderful? The water pipes in his house have been repaired and look as good as new. And now, we sincerely thank you all for paying attention and listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to watch the latest and most interesting videos from us. See you again in the next videos.